just I just really love wild cats. I love all cats, obviously, and you know, I'm going to be doing a planning to do a series of six. These are um, I think they're ten inches by ten inches square panels, and and there'll be six wild cats in this series. So this is uh, going to be a painting of an ocelot um, and with rainforest plants. Ocelots are native um, all through Central America, Mexico. I'm not sure about South America, but they actually come up to Texas and they're a species that will be harmed by Trump's border wall. So I am using the same reference photo for the painting that I used for the pen and ink piece. And uh, I think just having some familiarity with, with the uh, cat's anatomy of the face and where the spots are. Um, they, these guys have a kind of a different nose shape than a lot of cats. Um, it's kind of wide, broad and wide. Um, and I have an experience of having drawn it. so. I think it'll. I think that'll. It'll help with the painting. I think they're about the size of, of a bobcat. So they're they're small wild cats. Some artists decide everything before they start painting. They decide everything in their drawing while they're drawing their, process, um, their process drawing. I don't tend to do that. It's really rare for me to do that. I'm more organic in my process. My original idea was doing rainforest foliage um, since this cat, I mean, they do have other habitats too besides rainforest, but 
they're really known for living in the rainforest in Central America. Um, and then I had this idea like, oh, I could do roses. I have a lot of beautiful photos of roses from walking around in our neighborhood and our neighbor's roses, and that would be nice. And, and I started to um, work on a composition with roses kind of framing the face. And then I decided, no, you know, I need to go back and, and do my initial plan of, of um, rainforest foliage. So, so flora and fauna from the rainforest. Thank you.